So hello to all of you, wherever you may be, from the Juventus Stadium in the Alpine city of Turin. And our live game is Juventus against Porto. I'm Peter Drury, and this is Jim Beglin. Glad to be here, Peter, and I'm ready to rumble. So it's down to business here. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Um, Pepe may well need to be at his best. There's a power about his game, thanks to very decent pace for a big man, and he doesn't lose out much in the air either. He could prove to be a very reliable presence here. Yeah, I must agree, especially in view of his ability to lead and organise the defence. Knocks it towards the front. Plays it out to the flank. Looks like a good ball through. Now here's the through ball. Oh, good interception. Aimed long and direct. Now it's Morata. Out to the flank. It's come through and he's had a quick look inside. Looking to shoot. And that really should have hit the net. Played out to the right. Where to from here? Is that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Oh, that's a booking. Always looked it. And he stayed down and is in very obvious discomfort here. Paid to a promising move. Now it's Morata. Tries a through ball. Cristiano Ronaldo! And the ball's come out. Goal! Juventus! And it's Juventus who take the lead. With time and space are plenty, he was never going to miss. Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot-on-sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly from where I'm sitting. Deadlock broken. It's 1-0. Listen, when it comes to goals, Peter, in this team, he's always the number one contender, and he's done it again. It upfield. Good idea, just poorly executed. And it's Ramsey. Ivan Marcano sticks in a foot to win it back. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Now it's Morata. Morata moves long and forward. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. Porto saved by a gutsy tackle. He had to get it right. Well, if ever a tackle had to be made, that was about the perfect example. They were completely caught out by the break, and they got themselves into last resort territory. What a saviour. Good stop. That wasn't easy. Well, I can only add that he's got reflexes that are in perfect working order, Peter. That was very good to watch. With a delicate ball. Has it out wide now. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Out to the left it goes. Morata plays it out to the wing. There is 
the half-time whistle. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain their momentum now and finish the job. Juventus having to have the lead in a tight old game. Half-time, 1-0. Gets things going for the second half. Juventus carry a one-goal lead into the second half. Felipe Anderson. Pepe. Felipe Anderson. Felipe Anderson looks to slip it through. Not much subtlety, he's launched himself there. Nothing wrong with that tackle, ball won cleanly. Ivan Marcano does well there, alert. Now it's Felipe Anderson. Tries to switch the play. Alexandro boots it upfield. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo with the ball through. Porto have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks into, into better supply routes. Oh, he's tripped him right on the cusp of the penalty area. Yeah, the referees decided that he was fouled outside the box, and it is just a free kick. Well, the referee has made it pretty clear now that this is his last chance. Well, he knew what he was taking on there, Peter, and special delivery from the ref. Now it's Morata. Charges in. Jim, what are you thinking? There's a lot of football still to be played, Peter, so ideally they need to maintain a, an attacking endeavour. Good clearance and very necessary. Porto have decided now is the time to make their final change. Nicely controlled. Danilo pumps it upfield. out and deals with it now the pass Porto saved by a real stroke of luck there it just fell kindly well what can you say about that it's difficult to know whether to criticize or or sympathize I'll favor the latter because we've all done it you take your eye off the ball and everyone feels let down big relief it just needed better contact well he caught that one right on the meat Cracking effort. So they got the only goal to give them a 1-0 lead. Felipe Anderson has got himself a free kick. Referee has gone straight to his pocket. Yes, a second yellow, and he's off. Protest continues, but in the end, they are defending the indefensible. Well, there may be some scope for debate over the seriousness of the offence, but none over its repercussions. You'll have to see out the rest of the game with ten men. Up for the header! Oh, that could cost them. I think he rushed that. He had a bit more time than he realised. He could so easily have equalised there. Real chance to break. Passes it through. Juventus need to hold on for a few more moments. Tries a through ball. It's a fabulous position. Ronaldo! Superb! Two up and threatening to pull clear. I just think he showed a lovely appreciation of where that defensive line formed and he held his run until just the right moment and he broke the offside trap and uh, he took full advantage, that's top marks for me.
Juventus could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Played out to the wing, gets into some space. Aimed forward. And that is it, the referee has seen enough. Well, the manager heads down the tunnel, swathed in satisfaction. His team have carried out his instructions to the word, and they have got their win. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Of course, we all love to watch the creative side of the game and goal scorers, but there's an art to good defence too, and their organisation and discipline has helped earn this win. So, many thanks to Jim Beglin. That's all we have time for. Good evening to you.